Puerto this afternoon. Tobias Rodegaard and Christian Sholon are cousins from Norway. They have not seen each other in like a year and a half until today, this weekend in Birmingham. Now they do not play a basketball together in Norway. They play for the national team as well as competing in the FIBA European Championships. But here is the first time they played against each other. Tobias told me before the game, it's definitely weird. His cousin Christian in a different uniform, and he's working on not cheering too loudly on the UAB bench when he does score some points. Thanks, Linton. From Norway all the way to Birmingham, Alabama. What a world. What a story. I mean, that's not like driving from Birmingham to Bessemer to meet your cousin over there. They're going across the world uh, and meet each other in Birmingham. That's a great story. Trey Jemison. Knocked down two early field goals, a deep two and a three that have given the Blazers a lead. In the corner triple from Solon that's good. Solon with a big three, I think. Uh, you know, the, go to the two three zone. Here's the Kasim Nicholson, the seniors in the scoring column. Solon pumps, fires, got it. Back oh, to back three. Really nice jump shot from the outside with range, too. Big kid with. Uh, good three-point skills that most European players come over here have. And the talk about Christian Scholen early on. So far he's got a couple of early makes from deep. It's a great hustle by the big fella. And UTEP can run the other way. Kennedy, Scholen for three. That's good. Well, I mean, he comes in averaging 4.9 points a game and already in this ball game, uh, he's got six. Uh, he's got nine, I think, now. Three threes from the outside. That's a new dimension, a guy that can open up a zone from the outside for UTEP. Had to wonder where UTEP was going to get more scoring from today. Is head to the free throw line. Trey Jemison, the recipient of the lob. Couldn't catch, but... Welcome back to Birmingham, Alabama. UTEP on top by 327-24. My partner alongside Bill Jones and Lyndon Blake. And so far, Lyndon, look, you talked about Norway early on. Christian Scholen off to a great start after you talked about it. Yeah, I guess Tobias texted him last night and told him about him missing those shots because he sure can't miss today. Already has nine points. Tobias did tell me the two cousins talk a lot about basketball. Obviously, they're college basketball players, but they're both from Kongsberg, Norway. And that small town over there is known for their basketball team. And, and guys, can you just can you guess what the mascot is? I have no idea. They're the Miners, so I wonder if that's why Christian took UTEP. That's awesome. Good be. Well, you gave me a lot of information there I've never heard. To be honest, my Norwegian knowledge was pretty low before those reports. And I've never been to Norway. I really would like to visit there, but I think it'd be just to visit because I'm not much in the cold and the ice and the snow. Plus, got a good one brewing in Conference USA. UTEP on top of UAB by two at the break as we can look at some of the first half highlights. And Coach, UTEP came out playing well. Well, they did. I mean, they got two guys in Kennedy and Sholin that have already got 19 points. Uh, yesterday, the whole bench, the whole other team other than Boone and Wilson had 10. So they come out offensive minded and uh, boy, Sholin there see hit the three from the head. He hit one from the the wing hit one from the corner, hit one from the head of the circle. It's been a good, good uh, offensive output by uh, UTEP, and I'll bet you that Coach Kennedy is black. Seven of 12 from D for the UTEP Miners. That is extremely uncharacteristic when going against the UAB Blazers, who come into the afternoon the best defensive efficiency team in Conference USA. By and large, have been fairly even, Coach, in that first half. I think that bottom statistic says a lot about what the conversation was with UTEP, too. They got nine assists today. So, you know, if you want to come back and you want to play uh, offensively better than you did, what you do is you share the basketball and you work for the best shot that you can get down. But I'm really proud of Don Haskins. We played them several times. He's a great guy. And that, that was a tremendously big win, uh, not only for Texas Western and Don Haskins, but for America. 1966 team, of course, the first national champion to start an all African American starting five. The Sholin lines up a three and hits again. Four makes for Sholin from deep today. Tried to draw a three. I mean, a foul on that after he shot the ball the way his legs did and that stuff. But he's on, he's on range. Her team on the floor, a little bit more agility, and Jackson still leads the front of that press. 
Boom, jumps off into the lane, kicks. Schuland again, a three. Puts it in. Well, How about this guy? Somebody's got to have to find him. I mean, obviously, they're doing some trapping out front, which leaves the corners open. He's sitting up in that deep corner, but I believe I'd run to him if, uh, if I saw him standing in the corner by himself. Five of five from deep is the Norwegian. It's a one-point game again. Got to be the guy up and under that comes and steals it. Nice play defensively by UAB, four of them. From the baseline, that's good. Scholand with his 20th three of the season. Seven. Rebound by Boom. Nice lead pass. And then a circus shot. So Christian Scholand with a off-balance twisting shot.